Hello friends. In this video, we will understand all about Gross Ecosystem Product or GEP. In this, we will cover what is GEP, why it is used and how and which factors are required for its calculation. And as usual, quote of the week at the end of the video. In our previous series, namely, problem with GDP approach through a holistic viewpoint, we have seen in detail, in order to achieve sustainable development, there is a pressing need to move beyond conventional economic measures like GDP or gross domestic product. In that effort, gross ecosystem product or GEP is a measure that summarizes the value of contribution of nature to economic activity is evolved. First is, what is GEP? GEP reflects the aggregated annual value of goods and services provided by ecosystems such as forests, water bodies, oceans, etc. to people in a given region such as at district, state or country levels. It is proposed as a comprehensive index based on ecosystem service evaluation. GEP is a fairly new concept and perhaps the earliest attempt at quantifying the value of ecological contributions along the lines of the concept of GDP. Finding out gross ecosystem product was a study carried out in China between the year 2000 and 2015. A similar project called INCASE, Irish Natural Capital Accounting for Sustainable Environments is also currently underway in Ireland. It entails accounting of biophysical value of ecosystem goods and services. A second point is why it is used. We all know that conventionally sustainability had three pillars, namely economy, ecological and social. In economic perspective, GDP is widely used to measure economic system performance. For society perspective, HDI or Human Development Index is used to measure social development status based on health, education and living standard since 1991. But from natural environmental perspective, currently we do not have widely used index to measure its sustainability. GEP provides the basis for determining financial compensation for the provision of ecosystem services toward facilitating sustainable development. Professor T. V. Ramchandra of the Center for Ecological Sciences at IIC Bangalore says, We do not have a widely used indicator to measure ecosystem contributions to human beings. This GEP entails establishment of a natural capital accounting framework by integrating ecological benefits into criteria for performance evaluation of federal local governments. This will help in evolving appropriate eco-compensation policy based on ecosystem services. Third point is, how and which factors are required for calculation? Ecosystem services are the benefits human beings obtain from the nature or ecosystems. Ecosystem services means goods and services and can be classified into three categories. First is material services. This include the contribution of nature to the provision of food, water supply and so forth. And things that make our life a comfortable one like wood, fiber, fruits, etc. Second is regulating services, which are absolutely essential for the survival such as oxygen, water conservation and soil conservation and climate regulation etc. Third is non-material services. There are innumerable benefits that we receive from nature which makes us humans as the humans we see today, without which human survival and development wouldn't have taken place. This has cultural and aesthetic value. The contribution of nature to ecotourism, nature experience for mental health and so forth. GEP is the addition of total economic value of ecosystem provision that is EPV, ecosystem regulating services ERV and cultural services ECV in a given area annually. The formula you can see now. With this formula, each of the value is calculated and expressed as you can see in pilot GEP accounting done for Arshan area China. In this accounting, you can see the vast difference between the GDP and GEP and also the split up of GEP into the three services that is provisioning, regulating and culture. And the pie chart of this distribution percentage you can see in this diagram. 
The details for the calculation we will see in a separate video. At this point, it is also essential that we familiarize with three important concepts that is GEP, GDP and Green GDP. As we have seen, GEP it's all about goods and services provided by ecosystems. These different goods and services we have explained in previous table. GDP, as we know, are the goods and services provided by economic systems. And third, the green GDP is the GDP minus natural and environmental costs. I hope now you are in a better position to understand GEP and its importance. Links of the referred websites and papers are given in the description. Please do check them. In next video, we will get detailed information about the in-case project that is the Irish Natural Capital Accounting for Sustainable Environments. See you soon in next video. But hey hey hey, meanwhile, please like, comment about views in the video and subscribe to be connected. Thanks a lot for your valuable time. Have a great day.